Hi. So, I've been building a status bot. Started as uh, an LED to show the build status of, uh, of our latest builds, whatever project we're working on. Uh, we use uh, Circle CI's continuous integration servers in most of our projects. I wanted whenever a build passed or failed, I wanted a screen. Or rather, I just wanted a light to let us know what the status was. And so if something failed, if that, somebody's got to be working on it, and it's good to know. Um, got it working. I used a Spark Core, and I used a little Node app that I ran on Heroku. Got the messages from Circle, passed it through the Spark Core, and uh, made the light change. And it was really cool. Um, there's some photos of that. I'll, I'll share them. Um, but that didn't tell me enough. I was thinking you could do something nifty, like maybe take a servo and have it point to, um, to the, to, to the uh, a handwritten name of which repo passed or failed. And that would be kind of cool, but, but actually we have a lot of repos and, and that wasn't as fun. And also I, I didn't know how to put that together into something interesting looking. So what I ended up doing is I, I remembered I had a LCD. And so um, I put this together. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna plug it in, and um, this is uh, Spark Core uh, hooked up to an Adafruit um, tricolor uh, LCD. And so what I've got going here is the uh, LCDs, uh, and, the, and the Spark is running a little sketch I wrote. Uh, I'll include the code. And what it does is it exposes a couple uh, functions to allow the Node.js program to to call things on it. And I'm actually going to do a build right now. I'm going to push up. Um, and what will happen is GitHub will tell Circle, hey, there's some, there's a new push. Uh, Circle will check it out, run the tests. The, there are no tests for this project. Um, and it will uh, determine if it passes or fails. And um, then it will go and communicate out to through the Spark Cloud to the Spark Core uh, to update the screen. Um, I can take two lines, looks for a new line. Um, there's no string split in C. Um, that's <laughs> you take a lot of that for granted. And then uh, to change the color of the backlight as well. Um, so all that's in motion right now. And in just a moment, we should see uh, this update. Um, the future plans for this um, is I want to hook up this button. This button has an LED inside. Um, it was a click on, click off, but I changed it. I took it apart and I made it just a momentary. And so the momentary push button, um, I would be to maybe trigger a rerun of the build or to, um, I don't know, clear the screen perhaps. But I think it would be cool if this actually went and talked back to the internet and did something useful with the information we were doing being displayed. Um, Oddly enough, the UX is, is like, you know, what what do we do with it is the hardest problem to answer. Actually making these things talk together, um, it, it works all right. It's not, it's not that hard to do, uh, thankfully. Ah, there it goes. Okay, so now it's running our tests, and uh, we're going to see as soon as it passes. Ah, there we are. And if it focuses... Uh, <laughs> The status bot success. It's kind of bright. We actually can adjust the brightness on this, but uh, it looks much cooler in person. All right, it's running the tests. And so what happens when the tests fail? Well, there's a red. <laughs> anyway, thanks.